JT Dunn, popping the squat. He, he, he might be taking this a little lightly, Bork. Well, maybe, maybe this is uh, mind games. Maybe he's trying to show Cross he's not intimidated. Okay, very good. Or maybe this is a grave, grave mistake. But look at Killer Cross. That man is at least 6'2", 6'3". He is solid muscle. He is a dangerous man, whether JT Dunn wants to admit it or not. And he hasn't moved an inch since JT got in the ring. But right, here we this are. One's underway. Killer Cross versus JT Dunn. First time ever. Absolutely. First time ever right here at Wrestling Revolver. Cross making his debut. And there's a bit of a split amongst the crowd here tonight. Dunn has his supporters, but Cross clearly does as well. Well, think about this. How many firsts has the Wrestling Revolver brought to the wrestling world? It's, it's, it's countless at this point. Absolutely. This is where the action is. If you love pro wrestling and you can hear the sound of our voice, you need to follow the Wrestling Revolver on social media. You need to get our updates, and you need to come to our shows when we are in your market. At PW Revolver. And, of course, you're watching us here on HighSpotsWrestlingNetwork.com. JT Dunn. I will say JT Davidson. That's me. <laughs> JT Dunn with a go behind there and cross uh not so impressed with this backing him up into the corner maybe you're having an out of body experience uh missing your old days in the ring possibly but uh i can honestly tell you that i would not want to be in there with killer cross yeah well you know what no one would unless they're incredibly confident or incredibly stupid i think oh. the confidence oh oh done wow Tit for tat there, a kick by both men. JT Dunn getting the better of it, but Killer oh. Cross absolutely not registering that it hit. A, a DDT, but the man back on his feet. Big elbow from JT Dunn, yeah. rolling back into the center. Dunn wasting no time, running right in there. That's what he's got to do. Oh my God. Oh, but Killer Cross grabbing. Team oh suplex right to the middle of the ring, and JT Dunn luckily rolling to the outside. What a physical specimen. Just look at Killer Cross. You know, he was excited about this match, if, if Cross gets excited about anything, saying uh, to JT Dunn, look, we both like violence. We'll get along just fine. I'm not sure that's exactly what JT Dunn was expecting. And not the kind of getting along I do with my friends, I'll tell you that. No, not at all. Oh. oh. JT Dunn's head driven right into the canvas there. And man, a hard landing right there on the floor. Oh, uh, that, that's insult to injury. Obviously, obviously. But Dunn fighting back. Huge chop to the chest of Killer Cross. And it looks like it's starting to register here. Oh, again, a little tit for tat there. Insult right. to injury. I like that move by JT Dunn. Obviously, those beach balls left out, out here from Chuck Mambo's match. He's going to frizz his hair up, Bork. Yeah, I got to say that this, this is not necessarily what I expected from Cross. You know, showing perhaps a bit of a, a playful side, or maybe this is just a predator toying with his prey before he goes in for the kill. Oh, a troubling thought. But JT Dunn being picked up by the head by Killer Cross in a chop. JT firing back. Kick to the leg. But see, that's the thing here, Borg. JT Dunn is a striking expert. Absolutely. If he gets the right shot on Killer Cross, the lights could go out, and there's another big kick to the head. Oh, but jumping in, Killer Cross, goozling JT Dunn. Yeah, Dunn in serious trouble. JT, JT trying to fight, but again, in a predicament here, is he going to go for another suplex? Killer Cross just holding on. Look at the strength of Killer Cross. That is unbelievable. Oh, but another huge variation of a T-bone suplex wow. there. Cross is a beast. And you're absolutely right about that, though, JT. You know, all it takes is one death by elbow from JT Dunn. If he can connect with that, it doesn't matter how much damage Cross did to him earlier in the match. If you're out for three seconds, you're out for three seconds. It doesn't matter how big you are, how tough you are, how maniacal or sadistic you are. When you're out, you're out. JT Dunn is an absolute knockout artist. Learning under the learning tree of Chris Hero himself, the That's original right. knockout artist, these guys were ruthless. They were able to take out anybody around the world and everybody around the world with those rolling elbows. And, but again, Cross not letting up, and JT Dunn's face being driven over oh, and over again. 
He used about all of that five count. Official Nate Speckman in there to break it up at four. My God. You know, JT Dunn may not be the biggest guy in the world, but he is almost never manhandled like this, Roy. Right. It just never happened. But again, Killer Cross, just nothing but solid muscle. It's like hitting a wall. Well, solid muscle with a mean streak a mile long. Cross is just sadistic. Dunn needing some time to recover there. Oh, but buys getting, himself some more. Getting right out of the way there, throwing Killer Cross to the floor. A little bit of frustration there by Cross. Cross winding up for that big right hand. Dunn ducks twice. Oh, but there it is, a face buster. Very nicely done. Cross Dunn. reeling. And Dunn back up to his feet, rolling out to the middle. Looked like he was going for another one of those elbows, but Cross again catching him in this T-bone position, but Dunn fighting him off elbow by elbow. Maybe Cross going to the well one too many times and it ran a little dry. It certainly helped JT Dunn. Cross running by, back in, JT Dunn taking out the leg. Oh. Double knees to the back. Huge German suplex by JT Dunn on Killer Cross, but Killer Cross not registering that ping whatsoever. Not a Dunn coming to the middle. Big ace crusher. Going for it, two. No. And Killer Cross getting that shoulder up, but not as much uh, mustard on that kick out as I might have expected. Absolutely. And this, this view here just shows you how big Killer Cross truly is. I mean, his head is at the center of the mat, and his feet are almost under the ring ropes. Absolutely, JT Dunn taking off those elbow pads. It may be time, maybe JT Dunn is thinking a little tick-tock for himself. Maybe Killer Cross's time is limited. Dunn getting this crowd behind him here. I gotta say, this crowd is split a lot more than I thought, but oh! JT, JT was going for that big elbow and Killer Cross with a big boot right to the face. Cross looking like he's gonna go for a power bomb here. Hits it right in the middle of the ring. Done in a horrible predicament here. Cross going for the count. Two. No. Last minute kick out by JT Dunn. And after impact like that, you gotta think that's just that's just instinct right there. Absolutely. Well, JT Dunn, a veteran himself in, the, in this business, knows exactly what needs to happen. And sometimes lights can be out, but you can still be doing what you need to do in that ring. Well, Dunn calls himself the savior of pro wrestling. It's savior versus killer. Oh, God, is this oh, going to no. be another powerbomb? Powerbomb part due here. Oh, but JT oh. Dunn catching him with the DDT. What a reversal. Two. No. Cross back out, but again, just not kicking out with the authority that I would be expecting here. I think Dunn strikes might be having an effect. Another pinfall. No. Almost. JT Dunn arguing with Nate Speckman here. He's got to stay on cross if he hopes to have a chance to take out this beast. Oh, another pinfall attempt. Cross kicking out one more time. Oh, he's going for it. JT going for that roaring elbow. But Cross grabbing him by the neck. Huge chop. Another one. Hit right to the face. Dunn lining it up, but Cross one more time. Looks like he's got him in a Cobra clutch there, Borg. Yeah, uh, Dunn is in trouble. He is fading fast. That arm is limp. Oh, no. He's rolled back. He's rolled back. I don't know if JT Dunn's going to be able to get out of this. This could be it. Yeah, this, this could be it. This is locked in. Oh, JT Dunn. rolling up, though. Oh, beautiful move there by JT Dunn. Turning oh. that submission into a pinfall attempt, but oh, my God. That kick to the face of JT Dunn and the limp JT Dunn's body right there in the middle of the ring. And Cross knows what he's done. He knows the effect that that kick has had on JT Dunn. But, but you, you, you got to imagine he should be covering him right now. Not going for the cover. The, but the, the thing about Killer Cross that people may not understand, this man is out to hurt people. He is sadistic. Sometimes that win is not as important to this man as hurting someone. Fair point. Wins and loss records, they mean something. Don't get me wrong. But when you're as sadistic as this man, sometimes it's just about punishing an opponent. Oh, no. Huge knee right to the chest of JT Dunn. And again, Killer Cross just toying with Dunn here, Bork. That's right. He caught him. It looked like right in the sternum. That'll take all his wind. Ugh. Another kick right to the chest. Some mixed martial arts type kicks right here, Bork. And Cross, well, until that punch, he was really enjoying himself. 
Oh, no, no, no. Dunn going for another ace crusher there, but Killer Cross catching him and going straight for that rope. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God! Doomsday for JT Dunn. Two. It's over. Cross was just waiting, Bork, waiting, picking his spot. And as you said, hitting that doomsday right there in the middle of the ring. And again, Nay Speckman raising the hand of Killer Cross. Killer Cross with a very impressive debut tonight. Not many of us are afraid of the dark, but you've got to be a foolhardy man not to fear Killer Cross. But Cross asking for a microphone. there. Yeah, a bit of a pep talk, also a bit harsh. JT Dunn, a phenomenal athlete in his own right. Let's see if this gives him a bit of inspiration in the future. 